first National Acorn Antics campaign was in 2017, where over a tonne of acorns was collected from 76 different locations in Wales. The campaign has gone from strength to strength since then, as interest and awareness has grown. It's open to all education settings, regardless of ability, from school groups, to brownies, to young farmers, and all have rolled up their sleeves and added to the project. The first acorn antics oak trees, grown from acorns collected in 2017, were planted just outside the town of Rithin in Denbyshire in 2019 by some of the learners originally involved. Acorn Antics helps us work towards having plentiful stocks of native local oaks for years to come. This is Abbots Moss Nursery, one of three sites which makes up Dalamere Nurseries, which is part of Forest England's plant seed and supply. I work with Natural Resources Wales to make sure that Acorn Antics could work on a viable scale, meet regulatory requirements and complement existing sources of seed collection. Acorns are delivered by Natural Resources Wales and dropped off at our booking in station where they're weighed, checked, labelled and recorded. Acorns require very little in the way of processing compared to other seeds. Once the acorns are here, we do a cut test on 20 acorns to see what percentage are viable to grow. The number of acorns per kilo is measured and the quality of the acorns is recorded and fed back to Natural Resources Wales. The species of the acorns are checked by looking at the leaves and acorn cups that collectors have sent with the acorns. That information is recorded, then acorn sacks are emptied onto trays, labelled and put on racking within the cold store. The acorns are planted in raised beds during the autumn using a drill sower. Maintaining organic matter levels within the soil is important because we want to encourage beneficial fungi within the soil as this will help the plants grow. The crop is watered and fertilised as required. Pests such as weeds, birds, squirrels and pathogenic insects and fungi are controlled. The roots of the trees are undercut to promote compact fibrous root systems and to make it easier to later lift the plants and plant out in the forest. Typically, if the acorns are large and conditions are favourable, the trees are grown after one year. They're then lifted using a shaker which loosens the trees out of the ground. Then a harvester picks up the trees which are then packed into cages and taken to the grading shed for grading, packing and storage within the cold stores until ready for dispatch. Foresters plan their planting programme several years in advance. When the acorns have developed into small but hardy trees, they are collected from the nursery between October and April and are planted within the area from which they were collected as acorns. Planting is done by making a small notch in the ground with a special planting spade before placing the young oak tree safely in the ground and then gently firming the ground around the tree. Thousands of trees are planted each day and we keep good records and maps to enable us to know what's been planted, where and to follow their growth. Natural Resources Wales will plant over 870,000 broadleaf trees each year of which 300,000 of them will be Welsh oak trees. Education groups can register to take part by getting in touch with us via email education at naturalresourceswales.gov.uk Collecting acorns is a great way to get children and young people learning in, about and for the natural environment whilst raising funds for their setting.